Hello, so this video is episode 1 of a devlog series where I'm going to stream every single second of me making a Roblox game from scratch. This video is a recap of the first stream. If you want to tune in when I stream, join my Discord server because I schedule my streams in advance and ping you when I start streaming or release a new video. So the game I'm making is a simulator slash tycoon type of game where you are a homeless person on the street curb begging for money from pedestrians. Uh, the pedestrians have a chance of donating you money whenever they walk by you and using that money you can purchase items that give you more money and a higher chance of an NPC donating to you. Okay so here's a rig and what I'm gonna do is just rename this to pedestrian pedestrian add a script to it for now and this can call this pedestrian AI and in here I'm going to do some stuff I think it's a bit dumb <laughs> but it should be working though because it's pathfinding service it should be going around a thing I guess not let's start making the map because I ah, don't have enough uh, brain power at the moment to start scripting let's start making the sidewalk which is going to just be a uh, rectangle so so when I change the size to like 30 Oops, <laughs> no, not like that. I meant here, 200 studs. This, I guess. Actually, let me duplicate the pedestrian for now. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother like decorating this for now because I just want to make the basic, uh, you know, map or layout. So yeah, let, let's just say this is the alleyway, and this is where like um the player sits and begs, <laughs> you know. And let's make a placeholder hatch or like container for the money. I'm not group this. Let me anchor this and uh, just make it black. <laughs> I mean, it looks crap. That's all I can really say about it, but yeah. But here, it gets walking, yeah? Um. Okay, just skip this for some reason. Why do you skip this? Now, let's make the animation, which is going to be, uh, where is it? Let me see. Yeah, that looks a bit weird. I think I'll just leave the animation as is for now and later I'll focus a bit more on the animations to make them actually look decent. Okay, yep. the pedestrian starts walking. Yeah, stops, then I should move to here. Should do the animation. Okay, okay there, yeah, it does the animation, yeah. And it should walk off, which it's not doing for some reason. Okay, it, okay, it works now, which is good. Yeah, it just walks now to the middle. Okay, nice, it works. Finally, the basic pedestrian AI works. I can probably like um, make um, uh, leader stats, I guess. Make the point system, the money system now. To do that, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a script in server script service. Call this leader stats. Yeah, here, money. Domino Dominicus and people money. We're gonna make it so whenever a pedestrian donates, you get money. But the thing is, I first have to make like the main game system. So it assigns you a, uh, you know, begging spot. It changes your clothes into like, you know, what is it, rags and stuff. And it like teleports you to this spot. So what I'm gonna do with that is by making a new script, which is gonna be service script service. I'm gonna rename the script to main, because it's gonna be the main script that controls most of the stuff. Okay, let's see. Okay, nice, it works. Okay, I ran the function and it teleported me. And I think I'm gonna go and do something a bit more easier, which is gonna be changing the player's clothes to like rags. We're gonna search up uh, rags. Okay, let's see. Yeah, s something similar to this, so yeah. But as you can see, it worked. It changed my um, my pants and clothes and my uh, shirt. It works. I want the NPC, you know, to decide like when it's walking to go to which plot specifically. I need to like figure it out. I think I might have a, an idea. And let's say an NPC, you know, walks through that part. At that moment, that's that's when it's going to decide that it wants to donate to that plot specifically. So what I'm going to do now is add um, an invisible wall that like, um, that like covers the whole entire length of the sidewalk. And if the NPC touches it, um, there's gonna be a percentage chance that's gonna donate to it. So that's how I'm going to like um, handle um, it going to plots, you know? Or alleyways, or wherever the hell I'm calling it at the moment. I'm gonna make this an invisible wall, make it tall enough. The decider part. I'm just gonna call it decider part. We set it's make it anchored so it doesn't fall on the ground. I'm gonna make Kank Light set it to off so you can just walk right through it. And with that done, we have to copy paste this to every single other one. Let me quickly see if this actually works by running. 
the script. We're not running the script, I'm running the game. And see if it runs and just copy pastes a bunch of um, those. Oh, uh, I just forgot. I kind of forgot to put a wait command in there. That means it kind of just crashed. <laughs> it kind of crashed studio just now. Roblox Studio is not responding. Wait for a program to respond. Oh no. I didn't save it as well. That's a problem. I didn't save it. There we go. It's loading back in. Oh my goodness. Finally. Let's start making some UI, you know? For now, I'm going to just make a basic, um, you know, money money UI. So what I'm going to do is go into Starter GUI, Create a Screen GUI, and just call this, um, uh, I'll just call it um, Game UI. Game GUI. This text label, I'm just going to call it, to not not money, but money label. Like, should I just make the background transparency, like, one, and, like, make a focus only on the text? So I can make text scaled, then change the font to, like, I don't know, Fedroka 1, green. Add uh, some text strokes to this. Like a point two five. Okay, let me let me like re let me re add the um, background. So zero. We'll just go local script. Rename this to uh, update goy. Update goy. Yeah. Let's see if the, if the money updates now. I just have to wait for one of these uh, dumb NPCs to donate some money to me. I think that's gonna be the end of the stream now. <clears throat> Alright, uh, I've streamed for three hours and seven minutes. I'm gonna do another stream tomorrow, like roughly around the same time. If you want, if you want to like um, join at the start of the next stream, join my Discord server. I'm gonna like schedule a stream for tomorrow, and I'll like ping everyone once the stream starts. But yeah, other than that, see ya, I guess.